I'm drinking vegetable juice for seven straight days. I'm about to use a habanero pepper. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know, man. I think this was a mistake. There's no other box of facial tissues like this. Scotty's new Magic Oval Box. Only Scotty's give you tissues that float up gently, one at a time. Nice and clean. Welcome to another seven day juicing video where I'm gonna be juicing vegetables for the next seven days. Now, you guys are gonna find this video very exciting because I'm not just gonna be juicing one vegetable like I have in the past. Believe it or not, there's more vegetables in the supermarket that are waiting for us to just put them through that machine and just like drink them. Come on, get up if you are as tight as I am. Amazing, I know. I've been reading this book for the past few days and this book came out in 1936. The guy who wrote this book, his name is Norman Walker. He's been promoting vegetable juice for a very long time. He's got a whole bunch of recipes in here that are very good for our health. And this is the guy who actually came out with celery juice. So it's not all these guys that came out these past couple years saying that celery juice is good for us or whatnot. It's been almost a century since this guy's been talking about it. Anyway, I figured I'd start sharing a little bit of more health benefits from juicing vegetables. Benefit number one, lowers risk of chronic diseases. Benefit number two, improves our heart health. Benefit number three, improves our brain function. Benefit number four, increases nutrient intake. Benefit number five, improves our skin care. Benefit number six, it improves our hair care. Benefit number seven, it boosts our immune system. Benefit number eight, hydrates the body. Benefit number nine, detoxifies the body. And benefit number 10, it improves circulation. And by the way, the source that I just used is probably a website you've never heard of. This is the first time I hear of it. Organicfacts.net. Might be fake news or it might be real news. Anyway, it's news that I like. So let's get started. All right guys, so I got my juice here, 16 ounces. I use celery, carrot, and apple, nice and simple. I used a whole stock of celery, two big carrots, and one small apple. Guys, I know this combo is really good. I've already had it a whole bunch of times in the past. So let's get started. All right guys, so I just finished my 16 ounces. I ended up with roughly around 30 ounces in total. I'll drink the rest later, but for the purpose of this video, you guys saw that I drank it pretty fast. Normally, I don't drink my juices like that, but it's because I'm on camera, I have to, you know, I gotta act a certain way. So I'm bore you guys to death. But this video's gonna be a little bit different compared to my other juicing videos where I give you guys an update each day. Well, because honestly, I've been juicing for several years. I really don't feel benefits like that instantly. It's just like over time, you start noticing that you don't age as much, your immune system's pretty good because you don't get sick as much. Yeah, little things like that are the things you're actually gonna notice when you're actually consistent with juicing. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's juice is gonna be pretty good. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's not good guys, it's not good. We're having a real problem here, a real issue. I'm almost out of vegetables. No! It's only day number two and I'm almost out of vegetables. And I have to go to the grocery store again. Man, that grocery store gets packed. I hate going to that grocery store. And anytime during the day, those lines are really long. Ah, look at these long lines. <laughs> and the crowds were just insane. <laughs> How long would you wait? For 10 minutes, 20 minutes, uh, try two hours. No, I'm not, I don't got time for that. We don't got time for that, for waiting in line. There should be like a fast pass for Whole Foods, you know? You just skip the line. Anyway, we're gonna make the juice today and it's called whatever I got left in the fridge. So I said we get started. I got five sticks of celery, four or five leaves of kale, two carrots, and one apple. So we get started in three, two, one, now. All right guys, so I got my 16 ounces of juice right here and I know it doesn't look good. What matters is what's inside. You know, a good friend told me one time, it's not how you stand by your car, it's how you race your car. You better learn that. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? You guys get that reference. I'm about to drink this juice. Oh yeah, it's good. It's good. It tastes very green. Taste the kale for sure. 
If I didn't add one apple and those two carrots to this juice, it'd be unbearable. But it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. All right guys, I just finished my 16 ounces and I already feel like I'm going back in time without a time machine. You know, it's kind of like Benjamin Button. I'm gonna be a baby pretty soon. You're gonna touch my skin and you're probably gonna think I used baby oil, but I didn't. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day number three. All right guys, day number three, and I just made some orange juice. Not your typical orange juice, because we use the juicer and we use some other ingredients, as you guys just saw. We use roughly three to four oranges. I ended up using three. Sometimes I'll use four, depending on how juicy the oranges are. I used an orange bell pepper, and I used some ginger. Now, what's so special about this one? Well, I let the white pith on the orange this time, because it helps us absorb the vitamin C a lot easier because of the coenzymes in the white pith. We also love ginger because we all know ginger is good for the immune system. And we used orange bell pepper because it's high in vitamin C. So with those three ingredients together, this is a freaking, this is like for your immune system basically. Well, you wanna woo woo? I'm not gonna get sick. That coronavirus, if it comes to Miami, better be afraid of me because it's not gonna penetrate, hopefully. I'll knock on wood. I knocked on wood. All right, another thing I'm about to add is my wild oregano oil, which is really good for your immune system. I'm about to add 10 drops, and this stuff is like really strong. Once you open up the bottle, you're gonna like, those of you who have had it in the past, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna add 10 drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And this is a really strong drink. Just without the oregano oil, it's pretty strong because of the ginger. And you're gonna feel like that kick in your throat. If you're not trying to get sick, which I'm not trying to get sick, I watch the news. I don't know if it's real news, fake news, or what news, but I watch the news. And I see people getting sick and going through the airport with those masks on. Even Bad Bunny has a mask on. I don't know if he's doing it for fashion or for the coronavirus, I don't know. But that guy is, sometimes that guy is weird. All right, I'm about to drink this right now and wish me luck. No, this juice is really good, actually. You feel a little kick in your throat because of the ginger and the wild oregano oil, but man, it's really good. Ugh. Delicious. All right, guys, that's day number three. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I don't think you guys have ever seen a recipe like this because I've never seen it. Kind of made it up. Uh, if my brother's watching this, he'll probably be, oh, I came up with that recipe. Yeah, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Maybe I came up with it, I don't know. All right guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow for day number four. All right guys, I got something to tell you guys and it's really, really important. But I will tell you guys after I make this juice. But don't fast forward, okay? Because going to defeat the purpose. It's all going to make sense once I make this juice. It's day number four, and I'm about to make some more vegetable juice. I already made this one in the past, but this time, I'm going to be using a little bit more kale than I did the other time. Kale is a really high source of sulfur, which is great for trapping toxins in our body. Toxins that we end up getting from the environment, from plastics, or just toxins that we end up creating ourselves. We also got celery, which is a great source of organic sodium. It's natural sodium, you know? People compare this to like regular table salt, which I think is ridiculous, man. This is a vegetable. How's it gonna be bad for us? We also got carrots, and carrots are really great for many reasons. According to Norman Walker's book, which I showed you guys in the beginning, great for those mothers who are breastfeeding who wanna enhance the quality of their breast milk, and also for people who wanna prevent infections in their eyes, in their throat, so on. We also got an apple, so we can make this juice a little bit more sweet. If all that stuff combined, it's gonna be great. So let's get started. All 
Alright guys, so we have our juice. Let's pour it. Ooh, look at that. That's really green. Perfect. Look. I'm becoming an expert at this. Alright guys, so we got our juice. It's very green. It smells very green. And I'm gonna tell you guys something important, but let me drink this first. All right guys, I just finished my juice and my mom always told me that you gotta put the past behind you before you can move on. And that's all I gotta say about that. What movie is that from? If you guys get that right and you write it correctly in the comments below, I'm gonna pick one of you and I'm gonna send one of my green juice powders straight to your house. How many of you guys are actually juicing by the way? I would like to know. Tag me on Instagram, put on your story so I can share it in my stories and it'll be pretty cool to share it. Let's form like some kind of community here. It'd be pretty dope. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow for day number five. Day number five is right here in this cup, guys. We use celery, cucumber, carrots, and apple. Nice and simple. Let's drink this right now. All right, guys, I just finished my juice. Pretty good, doesn't taste bad at all. Cucumber juice is supposed to be good for your blood pressure according to the book that I've been reading. Those of you who have high, low blood pressure should help out according to the book. I ended up making more juice than I actually needed. I made some for my brother, which I stored into a mason jar and I filled it up all the way to the top so that way not that much oxygen gets in and doesn't oxidize the juice as quickly as it would if it wasn't filled up to the top. Obviously, if you don't drink your juice immediately, it starts oxidizing with time just because, yeah, it's exposed to oxygen, you know? All right guys, so I never get to show you guys the mess that I make every time I make a juice. Those of you who have juicers, you know the struggle. Check this out, look at that mess. You're gonna have to spend a few minutes. I usually take like 10 minutes to like clean up this whole machine, leave it not sparkling clean, you know, in case I need to sell it on eBay one day. Probably not, I don't sell things on eBay. All right, but I have this other juicer. Um, you guys weren't supposed to see that tequila right there. But anyway, I have a Tribest Green Star Juicer that it's a slow juicer and just takes forever to use and takes forever to clean. But ideally, this is the one you should be using if you're making a juice because the pulp comes out really, really dry and you get the most out of each vegetable and it doesn't oxidize your vegetables or your juice as it would with this one, according to people. But you know what? I'm like, I like fast, I like efficiency and I like to drink my juice as fast as possible or as soon as possible. All right guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Day number six, we use celery, carrots, kale, and apple. I'm about to drink it right now, so let's get started. Done. Before we go on to tomorrow, the last and final day, I gotta tell you something that I've noticed. I've noticed a lot of people have been juicing, but they're not doing it very consistent. They expect to feel a whole bunch of health benefits just by juicing three, four, five, six, seven days, and that's it. I know I put seven days in the title of this video, but I've actually been doing it for several years, as well as my brother, my mom, and my dad. We've been juicing for many years now, and I actually have to say that juicing has helped us stay young. Now, I'm not trying to say that I look young or anything, but people have told me. When I go up to people and they ask me what my age is, in return I ask them, how old do you think I am? And they always say that I'm in my mid-20s and I'm about to be 30 this year. Now, my brother, I don't know, my 
brother is weird. He's like 35 years old. No, he's actually 36. He's 36 years old and people say that he looks like he's in his mid 20s, which I think is pretty crazy. And juicing has been part of our diet that has helped us stay pretty young. That and a whole bunch of other things that we incorporate in our daily lives. But yeah, guys, just be consistent with it. Don't just juice for a few days and then store your machine away and then let it collect us. You want to use it. That's what you buy it for. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day number seven. Day number seven, and it's the last and final day in today's juice. It's just might ruin my life. I'm about to use a habanero pepper, and I don't know if you guys have ever seen a habanero pepper in a vegetable juice before, because I haven't. I'm about to use it, and guys, this is gonna be pretty crazy stuff. I'm also gonna be using carrots and celery. Now, I'm not that good with spicy food. I mean, I'm pretty average, I can bear it a little bit, but when it comes to habaneros, I've never had a whole habanero by itself. I don't know if I can do it. But we're about to get started and we're about to find out. All right guys, this is the first time that I ever make a juice where I'm actually feeling kind of nervous. Cause I know what's to come. Well, I've never done it before, but I know it's not gonna be pretty. Let's get started guys. First thing, the celery. Add some carrots. I just juiced the <coughs> I just juiced the habanero and I felt the aroma. Alright. Alright, so when I put that habanero in there I felt the aroma and it went up straight up my nose. Damn. It's gonna be strong. Alright, <coughs> right, we're gonna mix this up real quick. We're about to mix this up. I'm gonna drink everything. I'm gonna make sure I drink everything and I'll leave an ounce. We have about, show them right there, we got like 20 ounces right here. 20 ounces of juice. Pour this in here. All right. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, let's get started. Here we go. I feel like in my throat. Ooh, come on. Juice is like, ah, uh, it's like I, I feel it in my tongue, I feel it in my throat, I feel like my body temperature is starting to rise. Almost done. Ugh. It's not so bad. I can take it. I took it. Look, I took it like a champ. Oh man, I need, I need, I need a few minutes. I'll be right back. It's 
Supposedly this Supposedly this juice is supposed to be good for parasites. I don't know if I had any parasites at all, but if I did, I already feel that spiciness from that habanero inside of me. It's doing something. It's, it has to be killing something in there, you know? It's, it's nuking them all. It's nuking all those parasites. Ugh. Maybe I should have added another one in there. Should I have added? Maybe I, nah, damn, one not. One was enough. One was enough. All right, guys, that was day number seven. Um, I'm gonna meet you guys at my table, where my shelf is, and we're gonna wrap up this video. So it's been several minutes since I had my juice. Got a chance to collect myself, ground myself again, and feel normal once again, because that juice was pretty strong. It's been seven days, and what have we learned? Absolutely nothing. We haven't learned jack shit. I'm just kidding. We have learned something. Uh, we've learned that juicing is good for you. Juicing will help you feel energized. Juicing will help you stay young. Juicing will not only help you stay young, but it will help you get all the ladies. It will help you buy a car and do a whole bunch of crazy stuff. It will help you jump higher and run faster. Just kidding, it won't help you do any of that stuff, but it will help you stay young and slim down and feel good about yourself. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know if you guys were expecting to hear a whole bunch of health benefits, you were slightly mistaken because you gotta be consistent with juicing. Seven days is not enough to feel health benefits. You gotta be consistent and you'll gradually see it over time. I'm gonna keep on juicing and if you guys want to follow me on my journey you can do so by going to my instagram account brian moscoso underscore the same way sam followed frodo the same way john connor followed the terminator you guys can do the same with me and i'll make sure you guys survive come with me if you want to live because we're gonna be going through a whole bunch of stuff not really that didn't even make sense <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit the notification bell i'll see you guys on the next video yeah, until next time, I'll be back. The Terminator, yeah. <laughs> that was stupid. All right, I'll go. All right, I'm out. Bye. <laughs>